Hi everyone and welcome to this new video of the Floss Marketing School and today I will explain what is a lookup table and why is it useful for Matomo Analytics. So let's get started. Okay, so in previous video I was explaining how you can create unlimited uh, website in Matomo Analytics and today I received a message telling me okay that it's great you can create unlimited website thanks to the Matomo API but how can you easily uh, track actually all those websites thanks to the tracking code that uh, you uh, you get. So the answer is the lookup table but first of all let's look at an instance of Matomo where you apply this given method and you get a lot of uh, tracking. So in my case I have my instance which is over here as you can see when I click here on all websites I have all my websites which are down below listed here right as you can see I have like 16 websites and all those websites have a given ID that you can actually extract thanks to the API. I'm not going to develop that right now but you can uh, get it thanks to the API and this is what you can see over here right under measurable you get here the list of all your different uh, websites that you created and each of them has an ID and this is this ID who's going to decide where you're going to send the data to okay and these are the only condition that all those websites are hosted under the same instance of Matu. So in order to be able to track all those different websites with just one single tracking code the answer is what we call a lookup table. So here I expect that you are using Tag Manager and that you are deploying the same container on all the different pages of your website. So in order for you to remember what it is, this is a container, okay, and this container you can control all the different tracking code which will be deployed within it. So in the demo that I'm going to do, um, I have this same tracking code on all this container on all the different pages and the uh, well, uh, the website that I'm going to track is this one. I'm going to, uh, not going to use different domain name, but I'm going to use different pages and you will answer and understand actually what's the point behind. So in what I would like to do is when I visit this given page, it's going to send the data to one website and on when I click on this one, it's going to send data to another one. So here, as you can see, the URL is ending by a day of training in Sweden and this one is ending by Hello World. So that's the difference of those uh, two different pages. So let's uh, let's get started. So what we want to have is one given tracking code which is installed on all the different websites that we have, which is the case uh, right now. So I have my container which is installed on all those different uh, URL and here what I want to do is to add a uh, tracking code. So I'm going to use the Matomo Analytics tracking code. I'm going to click here on the Matomo's configuration. I'm going to keep it like this and I'm going to add uh, tracking code which will be about all the different pages. Okay, page view, that's great. Uh, create new trigger and if I uh, create this new tag, what I have is that I have one tag which is deployed for all my different pages and they are all going to send the data to my ID number and I'm going to have to click on variable in order to see that, but that should be variable, that should be the website number one and this is what we have up here. So it means that right now all my data are going to be sent to my website ID number one and that's not what I want to achieve because I have different other websites and I would like to send the data to let's say website number 13 for example and website number 14 okay but how can I do this so this is where lookup tables comes into play and what I'm going to do is uh, if it contains the word the day of training in Sweden I'm going to send it to ID number 13 and if it contains hello world I would like to send it to number 14 okay so the only two things that I need to remember here is number 13 and number 14 I think I can technically do that in my head and uh, in fact what I need to do is to use a lookup table and that's what I'm going to have uh, up here so I'm going to click here and I'm going to create a new variable and the variable I want to play with is the URL of variable because in my case that's what I want so here I'm gonna just precise this is gonna be a lookup table right lookup table I could give it a, a name which is more explicit like if 13 goes to oh if Sweden if contain Sweden go to 13 and hello world hello world 
14. Okay, that may not be the greatest name ever, but at least I know what's going to be behind. And uh, here, I'm not going to choose host name, but that's the one that you will go for if you have different website. And in my case, I'm just going to go through the, um, let's say, the full page URL, make more sense, maybe just the pass. Okay, just the pass. And here I'm going to click here on show advanced settings. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to just say, okay, if it contains, and in my case, it's if it contains one of those words, I want to send it oops, like this, okay? I'm using contains here because I want my example to work. And in my case, I want to send it to number 13. And if it contains the other one, so in my case, it's going to be hello world. I want to send it to number 14, okay? And that's my variable. So as a result, what's going to happen, so I'm going to now select it. Here is that the page is going to, um, I mean, the Matomore tracking code is going to send the data normally if it contains the URL 13 and 14 if it contains the other one. And uh, let's uh, check that out. So I'm going to update it and I'm not going to publish it because I'm not like 100% of what I'm doing, even if it's on a demo website. I'm just going to take it the preview mode and I'm going to go over here and I'm going to just copy and paste it. So if nothing's happened because I need to clear my cache and now it's good. So here, as you can see, I have a page view and normally nothing should have happened. Oh, something happened. That's kind of weird because uh, I didn't define any any rules here. So I'm going to just investigate a little bit more what happened and here Oh yeah, it's going to fire anyway, but I'm not even sure about that kind of data that's going to send to me. It's not going to send to any site ID, Matomo configuration, and uh, it's saying site ID. ID. You see it's empty. And the reason why it's empty is because it does neither the world uh, they are training in Sweden and neither in the world. And if I go now under the of training, and I'm going to add as well my preview mode and I'm going to have normally my page view executed and I get as a variable normally get the number 13. So normally now it has sent it properly to the number 13 for this given URL. And if I go over here, it should have sent the same, but for number 14 over here, it's just logic. And let's see if the logic has a sense here. And I can already prepare my kind of demo because I said that was going into number uh, 13, so Parisian PLC and Mora Ryan. Okay, great. So let's have a look at it. So uh, now let's go for uh, so in Paris, do, 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 do. Parisian. It's over here. Okay, so let's look at this one. And for the day of today, and let's act of visit logs. And what do I have? Right, I got exactly my visit. Right, and if I go now to the other one, which was uh, this one. There's no data for this report. And the reason is that, as you can see, it's still loading here. So I don't know, there's something which is going kind of weird. Um, I don't know, probably there's a conflict. I have some script running or something. So uh, I'm going to speed it up by publishing my, my container. Or maybe I could technically just refresh this page. Probably it's going to be fine. Okay, taking some time. Uh, I'm going to publish anyway. So go. Okay, so now it's published. Let's get rid of this. Okay, uh, so now the page has been loaded. And if I go over here and I do a five, normally if I'm lucky enough for this demo, I should see it. Wow, well, that's what's happening, right? So uh, yes, that's the whole thing with the lookup table. So that's the possibility for you to give some conditions within Matomo Analytics in order to say, okay, if these conditions happen, so in our case, this is when the URL has the given pass, then we send uh, to the following ID the, the value. So if you are playing with multiple websites, all you need to do is just to modify the given uh, information here by the host name. And you need, of course, to have the same container on all your different uh, websites. So of course, it has some advantages, but it has some drawback because it means that your head will need to work 
every time that you're going to implement a specific tracking code, you need to ensure that actually this given tracking code just going to fire for this given host name and not the other one. But that's one way you can um, you can work with flexibility and redeploy a lot of tracking code without uh, making much effort in Matomo Analytics. And that's it uh, for the video of today. So I really hope that you appreciate it. Please feel free to try the lookup table uh, with any combination that you want because it's very convenient if you would like to track multiple uh, websites, but as well, it has some other, many other advantages if you use it with other um, let's say um, combinations or other tracking codes. So it's just a global concept. Let's say the lookup table, and it's very very powerful. On small, do not hesitate to create your own videos with your own example. This is how a community can grow. And as well, do not hesitate to share it on social networks. Thanks for watching.